Hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss about of the topic tenses. Tense. Tense is the word derived from the tempers, which means time of action. Time of action. The tenses are the words. Tenses are the second part in the grammar, which shows the time of action. Time of action. Man, ये पूरी चीज़ तो ना मने बारी पूरी चीज़ ये ला ये पूरी चीज़ तो ना मने बारी पूरी चीज़ तो ये ये tenses. Time. You are already know. Chinna two minutes to tell you that time is divided into three parts. Past, present, future. Past, which are already completed. Present, which are going on now. Future will start next year or next day or next month or next year. So this is all about the time, past, present, future. Okay. So I am asking you that why, if it is the time, why tenses are came? Why tenses are came? Tenses are why. Tenses gives us the exact time position of action. Which gives the exact time position of action. Exact time position of action and they gain the language for the matter. Suppose today. Where morning breakfast is done. That's this also a completed action. Yesterday, where a movie is done. That is also a one completed action. Long ago, Akbar ruled in India. That is also a past action. The action which completed just now, it is also a past action to show the the difference where the. Where is the time exact time position the action is happened? We use the tenses. These tenses are again divided into four parts: simple, continuous, perfect. Perfect continuous. So you got the point. Tense is the word derived from the tempus, which means time of actions. You know the time. Time is again divided into three parts: past, present, future. So these. Are uh, again divided into four parts. The first one is simple, the second one is continuous, the third one is perfect, and the fourth one is perfect continuous. So each tense is again divided into four parts, four parts, four parts. So in total we have twelve tenses. Total we have twelve tenses. So today I am going to discuss about of the. Simple present tense. Simple present tense. So, which is in English we do discuss today. What do you know? What is simple present tense? Simple present tense. Simple present tense. Here I am telling you first of all, we do. नेक्स्ट टू वर्ड्स नेक्स्ट नोट नोट मींस द एक्सेप्शंस वी सेड द यूसेज वी से 
same in structure, we say in two words, but there is no mean that exceptions there. Manu chepkine daanki kone exceptions ane unta hai manda ye exam hoche ni expectation exceptions hai. We will discuss that time. Okay, first one. First one we need to learn the usage. Where we have to use the simple present tense. The simple present tense is used to denote the actions that we do daily. Regularly, often, general, universal truths and universal truths. And there are also so many other ways to denote the historical events. historical events and a definite future definite future in this are we present tomorrow again you are seeing the future i will discuss about the everything each and everything about the usage so what is the usage of the simple present tense the simple present tense is used to denote the action that we do daily, regularly, often, general, and universal truths, universal truths and historical events and definite future, definite future. Okay, this is the usage of the simple present tense. The structure, structure. What is the structure of the tense? And the structure of the tense is a sentence and you know, whether it is simple present tense, where it may be the sentence in English or Hindi, in Telugu, whatever it may be, we have three parts subject part, verb part, and object part. How many we have? Subject part, verb part, object part. Subject part, whatever it may be the sentence. It denotes doer of the action. Doer of the action. Verb means the action. Adi tevula manu dini karta anta. Din kriya anta. Din karma anta. Idi result. Result or the e do yet chase a animal affect idea on the object another. So every sentence contains the three parts. But it is a subject part, verb part, object part. Subject part is do a verb part is action, the object part is result. It means the fundamental classes law. And regarding to the uh, after noun, pronoun, the sentences, types of sentences, so we will discuss. So, if you look at the structure of this simple present is subject plus verb one. Verb one means the base verb. Base verb plus object. So, this way. Yes or yes plus object. So again we get the addition yes or yes. Why? Why? Why is yes or yes? We will discuss in the exceptions. So what is the structure of the simple present tense? Subject plus verb one plus yes or yes plus object. So, what are the two words? Two words I already mentioned in this usage only. Daily, regularly, often, general. So, what are the two words of the simple present tense? Daily, 
regularly. Regularly or fan. Every, every, every Sunday, every Monday, anything you can write, every year, every summer, every night, you can write anything in this blank, every and dash. And uh, uh, daily, regularly, often, very, every, okay. Then exception. What is the exception regarding for that? You see, When subject is in third person singular, third person singular that is he, she, it, or any name, or any name. Then, yes or yes is added to the main verb. So, what is the long term? When subject is in third person singular, that is, yeah, third person singular, say, yeah, he, she, it. Or any name, then a sorry yes is added to the main verb. Main verb in the notes are called Rasko or Nakudu. Pass chasey screenshot is kuri. You can write it down in your notes. Okay, right. This is all about the simple present tense. Okay, my love, you can come call him or Nakudu. Just rewind and listen more and more times. Okay, and uh, I'm going to exam this way. Right? Examples check and again number one. Assertive sentences are negative sentences are and questioning sentences are I will discuss examples. I dash play football. What is the clue word here? Every. Every is the clue word in this sentence. So, every. Every again, a tense no question in us. We learned the clue words of the simple present, right? Every. Every is the clue word of the simple present tense. Again, the first step, clue word. Second step, structure. Structure every simple present tense key. Subject plus. V1 plus, yes or yes plus, object, we don't have object purchase. So, one can go to the verb. So, subject to the end of the day, I. I am in the third person singular, call. In the day, third person singular is going to be he, she, it, or any name. That's why, one of them, verb ki, yes or yes, right? Verb to the end of the day, that will be the answer. I play football every evening. Same sentences. Chuta. He bracket will go to temple every Thursday. So what is the clue word here? Every. So what is the structure of the, this is the clue word of the simple present tense. What is the structure of the simple present tense? Subject. 
subject plus v1 plus sorry plus object so is this add change yes we can add we have to add why because of the subject he is the third person singular so we need to add yes or es go ki yes ra go do yes ra be therefore goes that is the thing next raha sing songs very nice so sari kar you are there you are there bro you have to answer these types of questions with our uh in intellectual what the so rather sing songs very nice so rather you know what i mean rather rather roju bala paadutundi kabatti this comes under what simple present tense what is the simple present tense structure subject plus v1 plus s o r s plus object therefore so what is the subject here rada rada is the third person singular is it not think yes it is the person singular why because of we say that he or she or it or any name we say it na any name so any name is singular or as rada can be called she is it right therefore therefore rada is a third person singular or they thou thou sing songs very nice right and stars twinkle in the sky ikkada great thing this is universal truth universal truth kocha paadki oka blind thing me gotti pettukondi when yes sees in subject when is yes, that means that the subject is plural we don't need to add a sorry a sorry is me add change code so we have so many stars to keep and are they then go to them star dash twinkle in the night अच्छा पढ़ के इधर ऐसा कुछ नहीं है रावा सो वी नीड टू ऐड इन आवर आंसर इन केस ओके वो जो है आइस डैश मेंट इन सम इन आइस सो आइस क्या होता है नहीं मेंट होता है नहीं आइस दैट इज़ अच्छा नहीं इन्होंने सब चूत सो आइस का कैसे है इतना देर फॉर एवर आई आइस मेंट्स Five, how many birds? Okay, this is all about the examples of the simple present tense. In this video, we have explained about of the. So, we will ask you all about it. Take screenshot and write it down. Okay. You know, so we need to do now. We will discuss this for the end of the day. And tomorrow's class, we will positive sentences. मन चुनाचर्सूर्ण वट द होंवर्क फर् यू अटे लंप्लीट स्ट्रक्चर टू वर्स नीट बेच दिस्ज आफ टूडे गुड लक